Hi boys and girls, Mrs Beck here. Now this course is really only designed for primary seven pupils. Um, you will be put into teams. You'll be given a whiteboard pen, an answer card, a skipping rope to hold your team together and you will be given a map that has been sectioned off into grids. So you'll see that there is A, B, C, D on this map and there's one, two, one, two, three, four. So column, this would be grid A4, that would be D4, okay, that would be A1 and so on. So this is slightly different to what we've used before. Now, your teacher will give you a zone to start in and a question. So your teacher has a set of answers and a setting up grid as well. Okay, so they know where to put the questions. This time it is a bit different. So let's just say my team were starting in grid reference C2. So under my teacher has told me that I'm looking for question three. So we'd circle number three on my answer card so I know which question we're looking for. Me and my team use the map. Okay, we are looking for C2. So in this grid, we should be able to find question three. So this is a bit trickier because it hasn't got an exact location for you. It's got a bigger grid for you to hunt for your checkpoint. Once you find question three, we then need to answer it. Now it's a multiple choice one. So we'll know if we're in the right place because it'll say question three. The question is, the time is 3.25 p.m. and John is travelling to Dundee at 60 miles per hour. He is 25 miles away. What time will he arrive? Is it 4.25? Is it 3.50 p.m.? Or is it 5 p.m.? So I'll give you a wee minute to think about that. Question is, the time is 3.25 p.m. And John is travelling to Dundee at 60 miles per hour. He is 25 miles away. What time will he arrive? Now, the correct answer is 3.50pm. So, me and my team would then go to the next checkpoint on the map to look for question 4, which is B3. So we use our map, we look up B, we find out where B3 is, which is this area here on the map, and then we need to go around this zone and find question four and so on. So you'll know if you got the question right, you will find the next clue there. If you've got the question wrong, it won't be the correct question in the zone and you'll need to go back and try the question again. Okay, so this needs a lot of map skills, a lot of teamwork, a lot of cooperation, but I'm sure you will have fun doing it, boys and girls. Okay, take care. Bye.